So the intro will sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so nice and simple, just a couple of different notes there. And uh, it's going to start off with your middle finger on fret 2, string 5. Then stretch over with your little finger, fret 4, string 4. And then index finger, fret 1, string number 4. So, okay. And then uh, the next part, your middle finger again on fret 2, string number 5. Okay, then all we're going to do is lay it down so it goes on to fret 2 string 4 then back on with your index finger to fret 1 string 4 so and then see that how I sort of roll my finger if you can't quite do that uh, what you could do instead is use your middle finger to start with then take that off put your ring finger on the string below and then go to the index finger so Okay, so it's up to you how to play it, and uh, you know, once again. So that's the intro there, and then that's intro A. As soon as you've played that a few times, intro B is. Okay, so really heavy, and um, all we're going to be doing there then is index finger, fret 2, string 5, ring finger, fret 4, string 4. Little finger, fret 4, string 3, da da da, three times, and then uh, all we're going to do is try and keep those two fingers in the same shape, going to lift them off, and we're going to put them onto fret 2, so now it's uh, your little finger, fret 2, string 4, ring finger, fret 2, string 5, and then we're going to put our middle finger onto fret 1, string 3, we're going to play those three strings, as well as string 6, open, uh, four times okay and we're going to kind of play it once then pause a second and then three more so so coming from this shape it goes like alright so that's like the pattern so uh, yeah that's the first shape from there then going back to that first chord shape three times and the next part is going to be up a string and across two frets to frets four and six. Okay, so. All right, and then from there, slide it down two frets, then back up. All right, so, so far. And to finish off, going back to that kind of awkward shape, uh, like this, and then this time we're going to play the entire uh, pattern in that chord shape, okay? So it's da 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 do da da da. Okay, so right from the start. Okay, so that's the intro. Uh, A and B, put it together, it's the entire intro. So the verse then, the uh, a Fright Train to the Right, Feeling That Sting of Pride, that part uh, is going to be like a mixture of the two intros, okay? So it's going to sound like this then. Alright, so um, you know, if you look at the first two bars, you know, like I say, it's intro A, so... And you're going to play that twice. Uh, if you look at the tab now, you've got to play it once more. Okay, and uh, to finish off, uh, you know, the last two bars, going back to that funny kind of chord shape. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and then all the way up to seven and nine, so index finger, fret seven, string five, ring finger, fret uh, nine, string four, little finger, fret nine, string three. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so as simple as that for the verse there then, and uh, I play it right from the start, try and play along or follow it along, you know, with the song or follow it on the tab and uh, it'll sound like this. Okay. 
So for the chorus, there's two different guitar parts. So you know, we'll learn them both then. And uh, this is a part where they sing, is it too much for uh, the things to work out this time? And uh, here we go. <laughs> That's guitar one, and all we're doing there then, index finger onto fret four, string number three, I'm going to play that, then roll it down, so now it's on fret four, string two, okay, and then your middle finger onto fret five, string two, so do, 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 okay, look at the tab, we're going to do that three times, and to finish off, just come back to fret 4 string 3 once and just play that so okay that's uh, the chorus for guitar 1 guitar 2 is going to sound like this then okay nice and slow and easy there then uh, no new chord shapes we've played them all already so uh, to start off with it's going to be index finger fret 2 string 6, ring finger, fret 4 string 5, little finger fret 4 string number 4, gonna play it 5 times like do 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 okay and then slide it up to frets 4 and 6 and then from there sliding it back down to that funny shape we're gonna do the same pattern but do it twice okay so That's a chorus there then. So the interlude is going to sound like this then. To start off with it's going to be a lot of palm muting in single notes. It can be a little bit tricky but um, let's see it's going to be your uh, index finger on fret 3, string number 3, middle finger fret 4 string number 4 and then your ring finger fret 4 string number 3 if you look at the tab we're going to pick string 3 not palm muted and then go up to string 4 and palm mute that twice so dun 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 okay then take your ring finger off and then string 3 once not palm muted and then string 4 palm muted twice so dun 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 okay and then put your middle finger put your ring finger back on and then pick string three not muted and then string four muted so in total okay hey look at the tab we're going to do that twice to start off with if you look at the uh, updated tab now then we're going to do it again but the very last note we're going to drop off and all we're going to do is go to this chord shape instead so index finger fret 2 string number uh, 4 and 5 don't cover string 6 because we're going to play that open and just play that once okay so that last time okay so you can see it's a little bit different then all we're going to do from there is slide your finger all the way up to fret 7 on string 5 I'm going to pick that three times and then your little finger uh, to fret nine string three back to uh, fret seven string number five and then your ring finger fret eight string number three and then try and stretch over and move down so your index fingers on fret four string four so that last play so that last part okay so that's the interlude there then and, uh, in total okay I'm just going to play that twice so that's the interlude there then so after the interlude we've got the fill it's going to sound like this okay so some simple power chords index finger fret 2 string 5 Ring finger fret four string four, little finger fret four string three. Da -da 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 -da. So four times pause and three times. One two three four one two three, and then slide it up two frets. Then up a string, 
And then what we're going to do here then is go uh, up to fret 7 and 9. We're going to play it a little bit different to like a regular power chord. It's going to be laying your index finger down at fret 7. So you're covering strings 5 and 6. And then you're going to put your ring finger onto fret 9, string 4, little finger, fret 9, string 3. Okay, so the fill. Alright, and then the outro uh, then, the, um, you're going to drown in the mess you make. It's very similar, it's the same uh, strumming pattern, it's almost the same chords, we're just going to play them as octaves instead. So index finger, fret 2, string 5, your ring finger, fret 4, string number 3, and you've got the string in between there, just mute that with your index finger. Okay, so to do that, just lay your index finger down a little bit, so it's muting the string, and a da 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 Okay, then slide it up to 4 and 6, then up a string, Okay, and to finish off, index finger fret 7, string 5, your ring finger, fret 9, string number 3. Okay, that's it, you're going to drown in the mess you make. Uh, that part, so. Okay, so that's the first part of the outro. And then to end the song, uh, it's just going back to that chord shape we've played on frets 2 and 4. Play it three times, pause a second and play it once more, so. Okay, and the last time, all I do is just kind of slide my hands out. So, all right. So that's the entire song there. Then for uh, Lemmings by Blink One Eighty Two off the Dude Ranch album. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Now take it nice and slow. Um, compared to some of the other songs from Dude Ranch, this is probably one of the easiest. There's a tricky kind of chord, you know, with that shape. And uh, obviously the uh, little interlude, the uh, you know that can be a little bit tricky as well. Take it nice and slow. You'll get there in the end. Don't worry. And uh, you know keep practicing. And thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy the lessons.